Yeah, and, and that is, you know, of course, a whole topic, whole can of worms we could talk about with the Fed. Uh, generally speaking, what we noticed in the last few months was uh, tech heavy portfolios, which I happen to know is you and I, uh, we had a little bit more struggle when it comes to, you know, the Fed talking rate hikes, the, the tech stocks, a lot of them, you know, you look at like the, the NASDAQ 100, which is comprised of a lot of, uh, of big tech names. It struggled a lot more than some of the the old reliables in the S and P 500. You know, so you actually saw the S and P 500. Let me see if I can just compare this real quick. Let me pull up uh, my screen here. So if we're taking a look at the Nasdaq, right, from peak to trough, we had a drop of like 18 percent. Right, pretty impressive. You take a look at SPX 500 in that same period of time, we had a drop of only 12 percent. So you can definitely see that that conversation around the Fed. Uh, raising rates, discussing monetary policy, tightening aggressively had more of an impact on the tech sector by a large margin as, again, the NASDAQ is heavily comprised of it. So it's interesting that you make that point, uh, especially with these social media companies and companies that are still on the verge of becoming profitable. You know, your Ubers, your your Snapchats, they're, your, your tech heavy uh, companies out there. And that's that's a good point. So I think added risk to some of these big droppers, Netflix, Facebook, um, you know, Snapchat, these these stocks that are on the decline right now and even Amazon. Right. They have a little bit added exposure to that that Fed issue than maybe something that is more established and less debt heavy. Um, but I mean, Facebook, the thing I would say about Facebook is that they make so much money. Right. They, they have enough uh uh, of a of a cushion there. Regardless, they're they're making incredible returns overall. So I think that that separates it from maybe some of these more risky ones uh, like Snapchat and Uber. Would you agree? What do you think? Before going further in the video, I do want to say make sure to check out Garrett on his actual social media profiles. He has Instagram and YouTube, and he puts out some excellent content. So check him out, Garrett Invests. Yeah, I think if we take even like a step further out generally speaking right like the nasdaq you know it's a bucket or a basket of stocks and not every stock in that bucket is equal right so i sure. think that there's even a level you know underneath the facebook's of the world you know maybe you know newer companies that are on the scene that you know still haven't even proven you know a model to profitability yet um so i think as an investor you have to be you know kind of just looking at the stocks. I think we're kind of back in this environment where stock picking kind of makes a little bit more sense because you can really take a look at these stocks and say, okay, you know, compare, you know, a, a maybe like a Facebook to, I'm trying to think of like, you know, maybe there's like a SPAC that came on the scene recently that really has maybe even no revenue. It's like, okay, sure. where am I going to put my money? Yep. And then the, the last point that I wanted to make kind of along those same lines was just around like, is tech still the best place to invest, right? And I, I'm still a firm believer that it is because if you look at like just growth in general over you know the next couple of years, I'm still bullish on tech versus a lot of other things. You know, I think that we'll see some cyclicals do well this year. We see energy doing well. We see financials probably doing well. But if you look over time, those things. Again, that's why they're called cyclic charts, sure. right? Because they do well in booming economies and then they tend to do not so well. And, you know, maybe as things start to slow down. So I'm Makes still sense. very bullish. Tech. Makes sense. Well, Garrett, I got a question for you just or, or a quick question before we go here. Um, in terms of Facebook, so we dropped off of uh, obviously a, a, a significant margin. So my question there for you would have to be at 250 you know, you're, you're a soft buy. What's your price where it's like, okay, I got to pick up some Facebook. And also I know that you own some Facebook. Where are you, do you know what your price average on, on owning Facebook is at? Oh boy. Yeah. So I, uh, actually got into Facebook. Um, I've gone in and out over the last couple of years. I think I rebought in probably gosh, maybe October of last year. So I think I'm probably around break even at this point. Um, Okay. Or I might be a little bit negative, honestly, after hours today. But okay. if I'm thinking a must buy scenario, let's see here. I'm guessing like anywhere between 250 and 225, you're probably sitting at like a P multiple of like 15 to 17. Okay. For a company like Facebook, 
that's pretty dang good if you believe in the long-term vision. So yep. I'd say anywhere in that range. Okay. If you're, yeah, you're I would, thinking I would like one that. to two years out. So. Yep, I would agree with that. Uh, so so you've owned you've been in and out of the stock overall. I know we had traded this thing from several years back. I've pretty much held yep. it the whole time. I'm probably a little bit more uh, passive with my investing even than you are. But uh, when it comes to this stuff, uh, this has been really interesting to have you on. Thank you very much for, for being a part of it. And uh, we'll have to have you back soon. Absolutely. Thanks. All right, man. Thanks. Interested in seeing our trades live as they happen? By joining the A1 Trading Discord, you'll get a notification every time one of our traders enters a position. Each trade we share comes with an entry price, a stop loss, and most importantly, a full breakdown of why the trade was taken. Learn alongside our experienced traders, join our active chat room, and ask your questions in our coaching webinars. Between our team of active traders, we trade Forex pairs, commodities like gold and oil, crypto and stocks by joining the group you'll be able to keep up with all of it sign up today using the link in the description and don't forget to use our promo code listed below for a special subscriber discount thanks for watching and see you inside